I want to welcome everyone back to our ongoing quality of service lecture series here at stormwindlive.com. My name is Anthony Sequera, and as you remember, at the end of the last lesson, we took a look at three possible overall approaches to QoS, didn't we? We said there was the best effort, we said there was an integrated services approach, and we said there was a differentiated services approach. Well, now I want to take a series of lessons here where we'll, we'll elaborate on each one of those particular approaches. And of course, first up, we're going to elaborate on the best effort type of methodology. You often see best effort mentioned with FIFO. We'll talk about why in a moment. So best effort, we said last time, a review of what we said, we said with best effort, we would over provision the bandwidth. And over-provisioning the bandwidth would go ahead and make sure that there is no need for any special handling for fragile traffic that might be sensitive to delays. We know this is a simple and scalable approach, but we do know to dramatically give us more bandwidth than we need, we are going to be in a situation where we're going to spend a lot of money for this. And then finally, we see that the main congestion management approach here is going to be this first in, first out. And that's why this particular process is so often referred to as best effort FIFO. Now, let me elaborate for you on this first in, first out that we'll be stuck with in most instances when we're doing our best effort. I say in most instances because understand that Cisco will pre-configure their routers and switches so that if it's a real low speed interface, it will actually have a default on it other than FIFO. It'll actually default to weighted fair queuing. But this would be a real slow speed interface, uh, less than like a meg, one megabit per second, and we don't tend to find those slow interfaces anymore. But just understand, and know this for Cisco certification, if it's real low speed, it'll default to weighted fair queuing. Where does it default to weighted fair queuing if it's real low speed? Well, what I did here was I showed you per Cisco's documentation how they like to demonstrate an interface. This is how they graphically will like to demonstrate their interfaces. And notice there's something called the TX ring here. Okay, there's the TX ring that makes up part of this interface. This will often be called the hardware queue, as opposed to what we see behind it that's called the software queue. So the interface is divided in two, isn't it? Think of your interface as having this hardware portion and then a software controlled portion. This is a very, very important point to understanding Cisco's QoS. Notice something about the TX ring. It is always first in, first out. So when we say that in a best effort approach, we'll over provision bandwidth and it will be first in, first out, that's saying that the software queue will match the hardware queue. So if it's a really high speed interface, that's what'll happen. It'll be FIFO, because that's our only option in the hardware queue. And then it will be first in, first out in the software queue. What would happen on a real slow speed interface? Well, Cisco would prearrange that. It'd be FIFO because it has to be in the hardware queue. And then behind it, it would be the weighted fair queuing. You can see in this example from Cisco's documentation, we have something very, very sophisticated going on. It's called class-based weighted fair queuing in the software queue, and we'll educate you all about that in a later module of this course. But notice, when we think about that interface, so critical, we want to think in terms of the hardware queue, always FIFO, and we want to talk in terms of the software queue. And under a best effort approach, the software queue would be first in, first out as well to match that hardware queue. For homework, I do have some homework for you in this particular QoS lesson. What I want you to do is go up to the Stormwind site. So just go to stormwindlive.com and I want you to go ahead and select the blog once you're there. You'll notice a link up at the top called blog and that's to get to our Stormwind blog, of course. 
Once you're up at the Stormwind blog, I want you to just scroll down here so you can see the categories. And I want you to go to the CCIE routing and switching category. And I want you to select the QoS topic. Notice you'll find the links in here for these particular lessons, but you're also going to find this article. And I want you to read this top to bottom, folks. Notice this article is titled, titled The Software Q versus The Hardware Q. Well, what a perfectly titled article for you to read at this point, okay? So head on up to the blog and read this article. By the way, if you like this article, please tweet it to share it with your friends. I think also down the bottom here, we have a Facebook like button. Yeah, we sure do. So you could like it on Facebook and also note the printer icon. You can print this article for your own printed documentation if you like. So there's your homework, folks. Do a little reading about the software Q versus the hardware Q so you can make sure you understand that very important topic. So there is the best effort approach in all of its glory. Not too much to talk about there, right? Not a lot of complexity going on, but I did want to make sure we elaborated on it a bit more than we did in the previous module. What's next? Well, next up in this course, we'll be taking a more detailed look at the integrated services approach. You remember it hinges upon an important protocol called the RSVP protocol, and we'll look at that in more depth in the next lesson. Well, thank you so much for joining us here at Stormwind Live for this complimentary QoS for Experts course. We sure hope you are enjoying it.